Hello cookies, it's Siri, I'm back and today I'm going to show you all my wigs with a swatch and a mini review of each of the wigs. I'm getting sick of wigs and I don't want to wear any anymore. I thought since I might get rid of most of them, I might as well make a video showing them to you before I get rid of most of them. I really love my wigs and I love playing with different hairstyles and hair colors and matching different makeup style. But at the same time, I really suck at putting on wigs. I don't know why, but no matter how many videos I watch and if I use the glue or whatever, it's still super visible here. Like it really just doesn't look nice. And now I'm just like, ah, whatever. I like my hair like this. And since anyway, it already has a kind of color that was an accident color but regardless so I guess I'm not going to use wigs that much unless it is really necessary for a makeup look. My wigs are here it's not a good way to store them but like I said I can't care that much anymore about putting on wigs so I just needed a way of storing them. Just so you know I'm not going to put them on perfectly because like I mentioned I don't know how to put them on really nicely here for this wig since it has bangs so you don't see the you don't see the part in that much so it's okay but I know on the side you can kind of see and that's also one of the reasons there's just so many things to do with wigs so I'm like eh, I can't anymore but this is one of the first wigs that I ever bought and I actually really really liked it I know many people told me that I look like a granny with this I look old and it makes me look really weird, but I really like the cut on me. If my hair were actually straight, this is the kind of um, hair length and style I would like to have. Now it's a bit messy looking, but this is technically what I really like. But the seller from whom I got this wig is, um, it is a company that I never, ever, ever want to support ever again because I believe that keeping your words is important. And let's just say that when you say you're going to work with someone and when you make someone work because they believe that there's going to be some more work, you don't just disappear and not keep your word, especially when it has been written. That's all I have to say, because most of my wigs come from that place. I bought 90% of them. I think I've received one or two for free, but most of them I've bought and I really regret it because even the quality, it's, it's okay, but the ones that I bought from eBay that are twice cheaper that are like half the price of so way way much better quality and feel much better this wig is from annabelle's wigs and it is one of my absolute favorite wigs i got this as a gift from them and i made this glamour makeup look i think and I think one more with it because as soon as I saw it and I tried it, I felt so, so glam. I really like it. The shade is really nice. Yes, you can see my own hair. Thank you. The shade is really nice. It is not too yellow because too yellow doesn't suit my skin tone. But it is not silver because I already have a silver. So I wanted a blonde to just see how it would look like. And I really, really like it. I also like the fact that it is kind of um, different lens. And that makes, that makes, uh, <laughs> I have hair in my mouth. Um, what was I about to say? That makes my head less round because I obviously have a super round head. So since it's different lens, it kind of cuts the roundness and I really like it. It is a nice wig. My only slight problem is that if I don't put it on properly, it starts to give me a really bad headache. It is, this wig is the worst when it comes to headaches if I don't put it on properly. If I just kind of put it on real quick, sometimes already after 10 minutes, I start to get a heavier headache. I know that's unbelievable, but I'm serious. Now it's okay because I know that I'm going to have it just for a few minutes so that I can show you. I really, really love the color. And and this wig always makes me feel like an anime character or you know like yeah like a cute anime character I guess it's because of the bangs and the color and the length it gets easily super messy like this 
and since it is not defined curls and it is not really straight either I can't brush it I can't comb it I would need to I guess wash it and then restyle it or something which is just like yeah so now after a few times of use it just gets really frizzy and messy and also the bangs they are kind of slightly straight if I put this here in the middle <laughs> I mean, it gets really messy but, but they're kind of a bit straight and because of how they are they make my face slightly round as well kind of rounder like here you see that it goes pretty round because it's cut here but otherwise, I really like this wig as well. There were some people in my wigs videos that complained that, oh, you don't show the inside of the wig and you don't talk about this and that and whatever. And thing is, I've never claimed to be a wig expert. Like, I wasn't really aware that you were supposed to show the inside. Maybe that's something that comes naturally, but for me, I just wanted to show how the wig looked like, whether it was a good price, a good setter, a good shape and time, just the general stuff. So that's just how I do my videos. If you want someone that is a super expert with wigs, then it's definitely not me. If you like my video, good. If you don't like my video, bye. This wig is okay, but it is definitely not one of my favorites. It looks very messy here. I look like a messy poodle. Oh yeah, that is such a great... Because I see myself in the monitor and that is the best description possible. I look like a messy poodle. I don't remember if I bought this. If I bought it, then what the hell was I thinking of? Why did I buy this? Or if it were just something that I got because I was supposed to promote it or something but yeah I don't really like this wig it is not terrible and I did my Jessica Rabbit transformation with it so it served a purpose but otherwise it's just kind of me. One of my favorite wigs, it has such a glam vibe and I like that here it goes higher so there's kind of like a bump here so it has a really now, I'm not sure if I'm, what I'm going to say is going to be right, but I think it has a 70s vibe to it. I'm not sure, it's either 60s, 70s or 80s. Let me know in the comments down below, but it has this uh, Brigitte Bardot vibe. Of course, she was blonde, but I think this wig is actually even called Bardo. But it really has this old style glam vibe. And I just, 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 just love it. Now, I'm not sure whether it makes my face look round as well because bangs, bangs always make my face look really round. But otherwise, I love the curls. I really like the color. It is not black. It is really dark brown. It is such a warm dark brown. And yes, you can see my hair. See, this is why I don't want to wear wigs anymore. It's like even when I try really hard to put them properly, if something happens it just goes all over the place this is a wig that i know many of you really like because every time i wear it i always get lots of compliments on it and here what i like about it is that it looks like i actually managed to make a nice part in but it is just some really hard silicone or plastic i'm not sure but it is thick like this it is really thick so the wig is resting on it so you have like a half centimeter bump and then the part in this kind of side-ish angle is the best with this wig for me otherwise it's really bad because first of all here it goes like straight and then down which makes my face even rounder and since it is really long but it is only one length and the ends are kind of greenish like this it makes my face look super round i know that some people that have round faces rock straight hair really well i just don't know what i'm doing wrong but yeah anyway this is this wig it is an okay wig it is not a favorite because like i said it makes my face look really round but at the same time for some makeup looks it looks really nice and on camera the color is just very beautiful it is a front lace wig but no matter how much i tighten it with the inside clips or whatever there's always a bump here that goes boom there's always always this freaking annoying bump here that is super obvious and every time i did a look 
trying to wear this wig. I always had to cut my tutorials here. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my older videos from uh, last year's December and maybe January as well, I was wearing this wig and I always cut it here. The curls are just not so defined. It's just really, really messy. This color is just super gorgeous and I think it kind of suits me, but at the same time, this is really a disaster. This front lace thing, it just doesn't work with anything. And it's always bumpy, even when I put tape or glue, like the Creolan glue, it still makes this stupid bump and it just ruined all of my videos and makeup looks where I actually had this. So this wig I really don't like and I'm definitely going to get rid of it. I think this is one of my two absolute favorite wigs because even though it has bangs, yes it does, somehow because of the length, it is right here. I mean, it has different lengths. It doesn't make my face look really round. Actually, depending on the angle, it kind of slims my face, you know? You have this sharp thingy going on. I don't know why, but it just happens. And the color is really nice. It is this warm brown chocolate color. It is just so pretty. And I think if my hair weren't so wavy and poofy and big, and if I actually wanted to grow it this long, I still don't know. John wished that I grew it at least this long. I'm like, yeah. If I could go to Singapore every six months and do the permanent straightening thingy that I used to do when I moved there, you know that that thing lasts until it grows, right? For those of you who've been to Singapore and done that the permanent straightening thingy. If I could do that, then maybe I would have my hair like this. But otherwise, there's no way. I would need to style it all the time. But this wig, I'm definitely keeping because I really, really like it. I love the length. I love the color. I love how it makes my face actually look slim. It makes me look like I actually have an okay face. So I really, really like it. And on camera, it just looks really nice. And on photos, it looks really nice. So yeah, this wig is a yes, 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 yes. Obviously my Tinkerbell wig. I bought this wig from eBay for the sole purpose of doing uh, Tinkerbell and maybe Cinderella. I actually never got to doing Cinderella in the end because I have an idea what kind of look I would like to do for a Cinderella not so traditional makeup look, but it is really complicated. I calculated that it would take me something like seven, eight hours to complete the look. You cookies that have been here from the beginning know that it takes me many, 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 many hours when I do my most complicated looks and Cinderella would have been something really technically advanced. As a Tinkerbell wig, I think it works pretty fine, but on me, it's just, yeah, it's just funny. <laughs> if you're looking for a Tinkerbell wig that is cheap and that actually looks decent, then this is definitely something you could look into. Yeah, enough said. Can you see how horrible this wig looks on me? This wig is super beautiful online, both straight and you remember what happened when I showed you the straight wig. And it is, it has bangs that are straight. And you remember what happened when I was wearing the wigs that have bangs. So this is the worst possible combination. I don't know how I missed that, but when I saw it online, I didn't realize that maybe my face shape, it is everywhere in my eye, everywhere. So now I'm just dying here. I'm dying here. <sighs> I didn't realize that it would match my face shape. So by itself, this wig, these, this wig is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at this black and then going ombre, white, silver. It is so pretty. It is really pretty. And the shape itself is nice. It is straight and then you have straight bangs. But first of all, the bangs are acting weird right now. I don't know, I've been trying to kind of style it, but like, Oh, I look like this girl from The Ring. This wig gives off an anime vibe that I like. Otherwise, it is not a favorite. It is not a wig that I don't like. And I have nothing against it, really. Except from the fact that 
the blue shade doesn't really match my skin tone. It is really nice if someday I decide to cosplay. I feel like I have some weak hair everywhere on my face right now. It doesn't make my face look super round. It has bangs and depending on how I style it, it can actually look really flattering on my face. So I don't really mind, but when it comes to makeup and pairing it with a makeup look, it gets complicated because because there's different shades of blue, it's really hard to have something very colorful with this, but at the same time, if you have, if I have just a natural makeup, then it, the wig color takes over and you only see the wig since the makeup is so natural. This is the wig that I regret purchasing the most because it is seriously the less flattering out of all of my wigs. Let me explain. See the roundness? Now, the roundness is caused by the fact that it goes like round here. The, the way it is cut, it is super round here. So I already have a round face down here and then on the side and then it's even more accentuated by the fact that it is cleanly cut round here on top. So yeah, I made a review of this wig when I first bought it with the other silver one that I haven't shown yet. And I remember if you cookies have seen that video, I was going crazy about how beautiful this looked and there's so much hair. I haven't changed my mind. There's a lot of hair. It is really long. It is beautiful, but it so doesn't suit my face. It so does not suit my face. I really, really, really like this color. But onto the wig itself, so there's no bangs and it's not straight, but at the same time, it doesn't make my face that slim. And depending on the angles, for example, if I'm like this, and usually that's how I pose when I wear this wig. If you look at my thumbnails or my Instagram photos where I have this wig, I'm posing like this, or well, well, something like this, because that's like the best, not like this, higher, yes with a little bit here and then this a little bit more here I'd say and then like a bit poofier and then kind of like the mouth slightly open. Now I'm giving you all my tricks and tips. If I'm not careful I can look really weird but if I know how to pose properly I can look really good. I also had to restyle it a couple of times because the curls get loose or get really frizzy so I had to wet it and restyle it a little bit every now and then and here at the bottom it is completely frizzy. So I usually just hide it and on photos you don't see it, on videos I just make sure no one sees it by covering, so it's okay. I really love this wig skin tone wise. Every time I wore this wig in one of my videos, when I'm editing, I'm always like, what? What happened to my skin? And now I can see in the monitor that this wig gives me a radiant golden look. At first I thought, hmm. Did we change the lighting? Did we do anything? And I was always asking John, hey boo boo, did, we, did you change the settings of when you took my photos? Because he always takes my photos and part of my videos. And he said, no, nothing. And then the more I wore this wig, the more I realized that it's the wig that makes my skin tone look really nice. So it is not my favorite wig color because the color by itself, it's okay, but I don't think it's anything that special, but when it is going with my skin tone like this, it looks really, really nice. Finally, the last wig, this wig here, or at least this silver shade, silver, gray, whitish something, is exactly what I wanted to get with my hair, and then it got burnt and I had to shave it, you know the whole story. But basically, this is exactly, 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 exactly what I wanted to achieve. I didn't really want to have an ombre, I wanted it silver from the start, but I saw this wig and back then, I realized that usually my baby hairs come out and I have some hair every now and then that comes out. And it is much better to have a wig that starts black when your natural hair is black, at least for me, because it made it easier to hide mistakes or anything like that, like hair coming out or just baby hairs or whatever so that's why I bought it like that. This wig is not a super favorite but it's not a wig I hate either because I really like the color and you've seen this wig in many many videos but at the same time I don't think it is that flattering because it also has this 
at least this one is not super round like that it is slightly pointy but it is not like super flattering either on my face it just makes my face look kind of long i guess and still a bit round here that's the end of this video i hope you cookies enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to miss the upcoming videos let me know which one of those wigs you preferred and which ones you have because i know that some of you bought some of them because you saw them on me and until next time i will see you cookies at the next video bye bye